Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you one of my old clan wars in uh, Washfield with pirates. Yeah, I think it's one or two months ago. Uh, but yeah, here I'm gonna show you a really basic tactic on Washfield, um, which I really like um, and really, uh, yeah, uh, goes into detail in how you can. Uh, use and abuse view range and render distance. So, what I'm gonna do is first enhance the minimap a bit and then almost remove it as the minimap is bugged because this is an old replay. So, what I'm doing here, yeah, I'm gonna show you my roots or I'm plinging my roots for the heavies. I also say I need in the beginning a active butt shot in C2, C3 just doing the initial spot and then fall back and go passive spotting in F1. I'm also saying that I need one medium to go uh, towards the H7 region and I need some mediums and TDs uh, a bit more on K6, K7 so they can support. So that's, uh, that's about uh, the minimap. Uh, you can almost ignore it uh, after this one. Uh, after this minute because uh, yeah well it's not really helping as you can see we suddenly have an A4 a, uh, a friendly tank so um, everyone is gonna go drive into position um, here you can see I've got two bad shots going towards uh, the corner of the map uh, one hesitates a bit uh, as you can see and my T62A is a bit in the lower part of the town so he can spot any tanks that go over the zero line towards the corner of the map. So it's a bit slow this game at the moment. Uh, by the way, this is a defending game. This, this is not an offensive game, but a defensive game. And so the initiative, uh, in this case, I'm going to put the initiative in the enemy hands. And basically deny them information so they do have to make a sort of a desperate push without uh, that much information um, or currently uh, my, my mediums are driving towards the corner of the map in K0 and I as a field commander just basically drive a bit forward and um, so I can hit the E0 or render the E0 position. Here you can see I can render it, uh, although I cannot shoot it. Uh, my TDs on K5 rendered it, so they're shooting the T6 to A2 pieces. So that's nice, the first damage has been done. And yeah, you can also see my other tanks or my other heavy tanks are driving a bit towards I into position so they can. Uh, can also render the enemies on the zero line. Um, here I'm um, telling my, uh, my team what's most likely to happen. My bad shot in D1 is just standing still passively and so the enemy knows that there is something there but they just don't know how much uh, as they don't see the bad shot. If the bad shot there would have been spotted uh, the enemy knows we have one spotter there and nothing else uh, so they can probably push the one two line so here I'm, I'm telling my team what's most likely to happen and what's most likely happening we saw some in the beginning saw some movement of the enemy in like the uh, the a4 region and here I'm thinking with only one medium spotted the zero line that uh, they really don't have that much uh, tanks either on the lower part of the uh, of the map uh, or at the zero line. Here our IS-7 gets spotted, and yeah, that's not really nice. So he, he gets some hits. Uh, we all I also noticed, and I think you you also noticed that they have two RT. Um, one missed and one hit so that gives me the information that they have 13 tanks uh, or at least uh, 13 tanks and here I see that my butt shots uh, went from passive to active so that's like uh, 
on one hand good, on one hand bad. The enemy now knows uh, we have uh, heavies at this position, as my IS-7 has been spotted. But they also know uh, they we have at least one bot shot to one two line. Uh, that most likely gives a an ex experienced field commander the opportunity to analyze my tactic. And oh, I think the enemy knows that I have a lot of heavy tanks at this position and some TDs also because we in the beginning we did a lot of damage on A E zero on the T sixty two A if you can remember that. So what uh, what I do now is that the enemy has at least one E5 in D5 and with that information I also know that it's not one E5 but probably a lot more. Um, so yeah, basically um, I'm waiting here uh, because I know the enemy needs to make a move uh, and at this moment uh, my tactic is really based on assumptions. Um, on how much e fives there are, uh, how much mediums the enemy has. I know they have two RT, so that that's that's not an assumption. Um, as you can see to the left of your screen, uh, I've got one butt shot. He's spotting the field. Uh, if my butt shot on the two tree line gets killed, here I'm checking if there are any trees falling, like if there's a lot of heavies, if they're mirroring our tactic, and it doesn't really seem the case. Um, otherwise, I think our uh, our tanks would have been wrapped. So here, the 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 bad shot. Um, yeah, he has been spotted. He has been damaged. And here, the enemy basically pokes out and see if uh, if they can get away with it. But the enemy bad shot is not really getting shot at. So at this moment, I. I know that the enemy knows uh, that we don't have much much forces at the, uh, the one line. So here I'm already telling my team to basically prepare to drive back towards our base, or at least to get into cover. Um, I also tell my butt shot an E1 that he really needs to chill down, uh, stop the active spotting, go passive, uh, because he's losing way too much health. I also see that there has not been any movement on the 9 and 0 line for a long period of time. Um, so I'm, I'm telling my team here, well, it's most likely they have a lot of troops or tanks in the city. It's not really likely uh, that they will have something on the 8 line, uh, but they definitely do have some tanks on the 0 line. So what is most likely to happen is that the enemy will push the 1 2 line, uh, get in or trying to get into our cap. And probably at the same time, uh, when our heavy tanks are spotted, um, to basically get raped from the zero line. So, whatever my decision next will be, if the enemy pushes, it's already seven minutes past. If the enemy pushes, I need to make sure that the rear of my heavy tanks is protected. Um, otherwise, uh, the DPM of medium tanks will kill my team. So here I want to confirm my suspicions, what's going to happen. So I'll ask my butt shot in the one two line, see if you can get me a bit more information, but please don't die, because if I lose him, I uh, probably will lose the match. So uh, the seven minute mark, um, I expect something to be happening now. Yes, um, the enemy does not have much information, and we still have 15 tanks in the game. And yeah, firefights do take a lot of time, and even when you've got really good focus fire and really raping the enemy, it will definitely ta take 3 or 4 minutes. Um, and then of course you need to spot the enemy. So now I know the enemy is going to do something. I see again a butt shot on the uh, radar, and here you go. I also see a 268. So we'll d they will definitely move. Here is one of the E5s, and there's a second one, a third one. So I now I know. So I tell my uh, mediums uh, or my heavies to relocate towards the bottom position of G3, uh, but they also tell my mediums to uh, still scout the. Uh, position on the zero line and oh, 
here you can see the minimap is bugged um, as there's nothing on the zero line at the moment uh, basically it's only my tank there is a butt shot um, I also put my two IS-7s on top and I need to make sure that my medi my IS-7s don't get raped in the air so I tell my mediums to definitely spot the zero line looking a bit out you can see the enemy already has a T-57 heavy three E5s and a 268 there four E5s and a 268 there so what's most likely, so I'll pause the game a bit what's most likely is, let's zoom out the map the enemy has some oh, well of course I can use this key the enemy has some mediums here and uh, they want to shoot our team in the back that's not really a possibility so I secured that opportunity here you can see with my butt shot here so these guys can also shoot in there um, I also see let's zoom that one out that there is a T-57 in this region and the enemy has E5s here so most likely they want to do a pincer and basically to counter that pincer I've got some really nice health pool here so these guys probably drive in it will take them a long 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 time to kill the E100s at the same time these guys will drive in and probably wanting to focus on these guys but won't counter these guys so let's see how that uh, how that goes so here is the field commander I'm just like watching zooming out uh, to the full extent here you can see on the damage log that uh, my mediums are killing the enemy mediums which is really important I'm also saying that uh, they need to spot anything else there well there you go still two enemy mediums and they really need to die so I, I tell my team just focus on the zero line as soon as the zero line is dead uh, we can fully focus on the enemy team so now we know the zero line is dead um, we basically only have uh, one line of defense to go for well there's still a T62A but he's a one shot um, and at the same time let's zoom out because I'm really looking over at the same time the enemy is trying to do a pincer maneuver so they see our three E1 hours well the first E5 gets raped and my TDs at that position are not getting spotted and they can basically freely shoot at the E5s the enemy however has a autoloader there and well with all my mediums uh, he's dead in, in 10 seconds so my E1R's, uh, my E1R's haven't even been damaged so far and yeah now the enemy decides to drive in uh, I think it's way too late to do that um, so yeah with this kind of result uh, I know I can send in my mediums at the 8-9 line to hunt the enemy RT as those, uh, those tanks are at the moment are the biggest threat into locking my tanks yeah and what's what's happening now um, I'm basically uh, shouting at the moment that my uh, my full health E100s need to go in front or my uh, E100s need to go into the front because they have the health pool and my IS-7 that's a one shot doesn't so he just don't need to die um, my mediums at the moment are saying well we don't see any RT in the enemy base well then it's most likely that the enemy is on the field somewhere near B4 B5 and yeah that's about it so someone spots a T92 and I know there's still one butt shot here and there you go he spots him and there's no way he can kill an I7 and especially when you send which one it's not gonna happen so there's only one two six eight left uh, just don't get one shot by RT and then we should be fine so there's one shot and let's wait until the end because that's uh, getting a complete replay okay so let's summarize this a bit basically what I did was put my health pool in this position which is one enabling them to shoot on the zero line if the enemy pushes in here or pushes in here on the 8-9 line 
It also is in pretty close proximity to our cap, so if needed, they can either defend it on the position of the E1 horse, or a bit to the back on the 3-4 line, or even drive into the cap if needed. Uh, they could even drive a bit up, so they have shots on the field. However, that comes with risk that they will be shot from the S. I had some spotters on the zero line, I also had a spotter in the valley. I also had a spotter um, in this area, so I can see any push that comes over this ridge line or comes over the field through the city. Um, yes, yeah, so that basically means that I will get all the information in time to let my heavy health pool relocate and to let my TDs and DPM, so my alpha damage combined with the high DPM, uh, to let them relocate or pre aim. And that's exactly what happens. Uh, I don't have the better results anymore, but my TDs and my mediums had an insane amount of damage, and my uh, heavy tanks had a uh, insane amount of potential damage received. And yeah, we only wa lost uh, one butt shot, so mission accomplished. So thanks, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I definitely hope to see you soon.